Hi dear students, today we have come with a new video of class 7. So in the previous class, we have discussed about the introduction of energy and here we have learned what is energy, what is work done, what is the unit of work done and how we can able to calculate the work done along with we have learned different forms of energy, different types of energies are there and at the end we have seen the mechanical energy and we can uh, take two types of mechanical energy that is potential energy and kinetic energy. So up to this we have discussed in our previous class. Today we will discuss some little more things on energy. Okay, so let's start today's video. So today's video also I have done in PPT format. So let's see whether you like it or not. When we are coming to discussion, the topics we are going to discuss today, that is difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. That is very important part we have learned in the previous class. We have learned the definition of potential energy and kinetic energy and their examples. Today we will learn the difference between them. Next one, conversion of mechanical energy. Conversion of mechanical energy means the transformation and transformation of mechanical energy means from potential energy to kinetic energy. That conversion we have to discuss here. Next one, conversion of one form of energy into another form. Okay, so we have learned about different forms of energies in the previous video. So how these energies are transformed from one form of energy to another form of energy, that also we have to discuss. And at the end, dissipation of energy. Okay, so let's start from the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. Let's see. And one thing I have mentioned here, that whatever the definitions or the differences I have shown here, just try to write it down by pause your video okay difference between potential energy and kinetic energy so quite obvious this one the first point should be the definition that kinetic energy is the kind of energy present in a body due to the property of its motion we have already learned in the previous class so due to the motion of a body what energy is possessed in it that is known as kinetic energy what is potential energy? So potential energy is a type of energy present in a body due to the property of its state. So property of its state means due to the property of its state that is rest or position. So where it is fixed at a position due to that present position what energy is possessed in a body that is potential energy. So how we can able to calculate the kinetic energy, we can calculate it, it is given in the second point, it is equal to the work that a moving body can do before coming to the rest. How we can able to find the kinetic energy? The way is, assume an object which is moving, you are applying a force on it and stop it. So to stop it, you have done some work and whatever the work you have done, that should be the energy of the moving body. So by that formulation or by that idea, we can able to find the kinetic energy. And what is potential energy? The potential energy is equal to the work done in bringing a body to change its state. I have told in the previous class only. So whenever you change the position of a body or change the state of a body, what energy is possessed due to your work done? Assume you have taken a body at a height. So whenever you have taken the body at a height, what work you have done on the body, that work is stored on the body as its potential energy. So by that way, we can able to calculate the potential energy. Next, coming to the third point. So the factors of potential energy, we all know, uh, kinetic energy, we all know that is the speed of the body and the mass. Where for the case of potential energy, its factors will be the height from the surface or from the ground and its mass. Okay, that also is discussed in the previous class. Point number four, 
it can change into any other form that means it is told that kinetic energy of a body can be changed into any other form of energy and now you might be asking sir what is the example the example i will say whenever we will go to the next slide there are the examples with the diagram it is given to you and potential energy can change only in form of kinetic energy so potential energy is have only one option it can change to kinetic energy no other option is given for potential energy so how the potential energy is changed to kinetic energy that question may be coming to your mind let's see and go to the next slide conversion of mechanical energy conversion of mechanical energy means whenever anyone is told mechanical energy it is nothing but the conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy okay so here four images i have shown to you in each of the images i have just told how potential energy is converted into kinetic energy in the first image you see some boys are just try to diving over the river or over the sea so whenever they just want to dive before that they just want to reach at a height so when they reach at a height they will get a potential energy and when they jump then this potential energy converts into kinetic energy because when they jump they are coming into motion and as they are coming into motion they will get a kinetic energy okay so here the potential energy converts into kinetic energy simple thing if you take in a ball to a height okay then the ball possesses a kinetic potential energy and when you lift the ball from the height then the potential energy converts into kinetic energy not only that here we have shown you some more images in the next image you see we have shown you a hammer the hammer is taken to a height okay to just hit the nail so that it can put inside the wooden block so when it is taken to a height then in that position it is stop so here the hammer possesses potential energy due to its rest position and when it is coming downward with the speed the potential energy converts into kinetic energy and that kinetic energy helps the nail to go inside the wooden block okay so i have just now told you that kinetic energy converts into any other form of energy so here you see the kinetic energy of the hammer converts the just put the nail inside the wooden block means it will give some motion to the nail so kinetic energy of hammer just gives the kinetic energy to the nail also okay that is an example of conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy not only that whenever in the next image you see the bow is stretched okay so when the bow is stretched the arrow is not released in that time what state is possessed by the man that is a potential energy and when the bow is released and the arrow is moving so then the arrow will get a kinetic energy very simple thing stretched bow potential energy released then it will be born to kinetic coming to the third diagram the energy of the spring it is shown if you compress the spring then the spring possesses the potential energy which is written here spring energy so spring energy means it is the potential energy of the spring and when it is released okay then whatever the weight or ball you have just kept over here it will jump up so the ball will get a kinetic energy so when the ball will get a kinetic energy we can say the potential energy of the spring is converted into kinetic energy the last image uh, i think you are not familiar with that image so that is also one kind of spring that spring you can see in two places uh, one that is watch so the watch is previously used not the digital was 
watch is used nowadays this type of watch which we apply key after a certain moment so that the watch will go properly so in that watch inside the watch there is a spring that is known as watch spring when you apply force the spring will be squeezed okay and whenever you will release it will flatter and when it will flatter your watch will be work so if you are not understanding that example i am giving you one easy example that you can able to familiar with it uh when you are in childhood days so till now you are children uh when you were little as you mean 5 years 6 years that time uh, the toys you have taken one type of toys there and there is a key and you are applying twisting the key and then whenever you lift the toy the toy can move if it is a toy car it can go further if it is a doll it will it can able to walk or something like that so inside that type of toy also this type of springs are there if this type of toy is in your home i'll suggest if it is not working so then open the toy and you see you can able to see this type of spring inside it and here also when the spring is twist by the apply of key then the potential energy is stored and when it is released the potential energy converts into kinetic energy so that is the conversion of mechanical energy where the potential energy converts into kinetic energy not only the potential energy converts into kinetic energy all the energy forms we have seen in the previous class that is that may be heat energy light energy chemical energy nuclear energy every energy can be converted itself okay so here it is written conversion of one form of energy into another form so how the energy is been in transformed from one form to another form that process is known as conversion of energy okay so that one we have to see not only just potential energy converts into kinetic every energy can be converted between itself so here we have to see some of the examples of it okay so what is conversion of energy it is written over here that an energy conversion is the change of energy from one form to another and energy transformation occurs everywhere every second of the day there are many different forms of energy such as electrical thermal nuclear mechanical electromagnetic sound and chemical okay all that energies we have read in the previous class here we have to learn how the energy is transformed and what are the examples of it let see first one we have to see transformation from electrical energy to other forms of energy see some instruments i have kept in front of you okay eight instruments are there so all that instrument works on the basic energy that is known as electrical energy so whenever the electrical energy given to it what energy changes occurred or what energy conversion occurs or what energy is transformed that we have to see the first image the blue color image i have shown you that is a electric motor so all the electrical instruments which works okay in every almost every electrical instrument which works mechanically there a motor is kept that may be a motor which lift water that may be motor inside the fan that may be motor inside the washing machine that may be the motor inside the mixer grinder everywhere the motor is kept so what energy changes occur when electrical energy is given to the motor we know when electrical energy is given the motor rotates that means initially the motor is static whenever you have given energy to it some part of the motor it will starts rotating so here electrical energy converts into mechanical energy we all know that when the body 
either come into rest or it goes into motion then the energy possessed by the body that will be the mechanical energy so in this case the electric motor when the electricity is given to it the electrical energy converts into mechanical energy coming to the next image the fan inside the fan there is also electrical motor so simple thing in fan also the electrical energy converts into mechanical energy coming to the next image this one it is a electric heater you can say the microwave and also so whether electric microwave whether heater whether electrical iron in every case the whenever you have connected to the electricity then this electrical energy converts into heat energy right so whenever you have connected it to the switchboard then it starts become hot so here electrical energy converts into heat energy so we can say in electrical heater in electrical iron in microwave and everywhere electrical energy converts into heat energy coming to the next image it is a mixer grinder we all are familiar with it okay in almost every house there is a mixer grinder so mixer grinder also we know it is used to grind something so here also a motor inside the instrument so whenever the electrical connection given to it the motor rotates and by that uh, energy we can able to grind something so here also electrical energy converts into mechanical energy just like electrical motor fan and mixer grinder see this three instruments are different but in all the instrument there is electrical motor so this one is the basic the first image this electrical motor is there in every electrical instrument like fan mixer grinder washing machine okay uh, so everywhere this electrical energy converts into mechanical energy coming to the next diagram that you see here is a battery connected with a wire and the wire is wrapped over a nail and very much common image here we all know that is the image of electromagnet uh, you might be thinking sir has forget that that sir has told to show a electromagnet in the class i have told you in class 6 i remember that thing uh, yes i have not shown till now but definitely when the school gets open i'll show you the electromagnet but here you see the image that you have seen in your book also that whenever the battery is connected with the wire and the wire is wrapped over a conductor then that conductor is behaving just like a magnet okay and that is known as electromagnet so here electrical energy is converting into magnetic energy so in electromagnet electrical energy converts into magnetic energy this is a sound box or you can say dj box so here definitely if you connect it to a source we can get the sound so here electrical energy converts into sound energy nobody forget this instrument here okay so that instrument we are very much familiar in the school that is a bell electric bell which always tells us whether the period is started or it is over so here also the electrical energy converts into sound energy coming to the last image that is a bulb and whenever you have connected to the electricity the bulb glows so here electrical energy converts into light energy so in every case we have trans we have seen the transformation of energy that how electrical energy is transformed to any other form of energy okay next one transformation of light energy to other forms of energy so whenever we are talking about the light energy so how the energy is been converted so two very common image i have shown you first one is photosynthesis so this is the process by which taking the sunlight the trees the plants they can able to make their own foods okay and by that way they can able to release oxygen also that is shown here so many were using the light energy of sun the plants can able to make the food so here the light energy of sun converts into chemical energy so food is nothing but a chemical thing 
chemical whenever anything comes to our mind that chemical so we thought chemical means acid base or something like that no nothing any food that is a compound which is made by some elements so as it is made by some elements so there must be some chemical energy stored so in photosynthesis light energy converts into chemical energy and the next one that is very much popular image here it is some solar panels are given which is also known as the photovoltaic cell or solar cell so using the heat ener using the light energy of the sun that solar panel converts this light energy to electrical energy and nowadays we need this type of energy that is renewable energy very much because of the pollution and other things continuously uh, the things which we have used to make the electricity they are reduced so we just want to focus this kind of energy to uh, save our environment okay so that is the example of transformation from light energy to other forms of energy okay coming to the next one okay transformation from chemical energy to other forms of energy so here i have given you six images six images are very much popular to you first one it's a cell okay and the cell shows that how much powerful it is because it provides us the electrical energy but how it can able to provide the electrical energy so there is a chemical reaction occurs inside the cell we know there is some elements some liquids some pastes are there inside the cell which converts into electrical energy so in the first case uh, in a cell or in a battery chemical energy converts into electrical energy in the next whenever we are talking about the burning of wood here also the chemical energy of wood is converts into heat energy and light energy when something burns so we know you will get heat energy not only that whenever the coal burns also in that case also we get the heat energy okay so that is a conversion of chemical energy to heat energy firecrackers till now diwali is a very long time distance are there we don't know how much we can able to celebrate it but the firecrackers are given here also the chemical energy converts into light energy and sound energy so the crackers it is having a huge sound as well as light as well as heat also so we can say in crackers the chemical energy converts into light energy heat energy and sound energy so if anyone ask you that whenever we are talking about conversion we have to write all the converted energy yes if you can do it it is better that you have to write all the converted energy but until if you say the maximum one that if i am talking about the crackers the maximum energy coming out that is light and sound so if you have written only light and sound that is also enough coming to the next one biogas it is also a environment friendly energy okay so in biogas we all know that the chemical energy of cow dung it is converted into electrical energy so just like the electrical cell that means the battery whatever the first image we have seen in biogas also chemical energy converts into electrical energy lpg liquid petroleum gas okay so in lpg also the chemical energy that converts into heat energy and that's why we can able to cook our food okay next one i have shown you a automobile engine a car which is just uh, it is there is some problem maybe and it can be solved by that person so here by that car i just want to show you a automobile engine so in automobile engine so it works on the basis of chemical energy so if you put oil over here then it can, it can able to work okay so here also the chemical energy converts into mechanical energy why because as you put oil the car can able to move right so here 
when the, we are talking about the motion so that may be a that should be a mechanical energy okay so here the chemical energy of the car convert um, chemical energy is converts into mechanical energy coming to the next transformation from mechanical energy to other form of energy so whenever we are talking about the mechanical energy converts into other form of energy first one is coming the first image that is electrical generator so electrical generator we can say here the mechanical energy because whenever the electrical generator works though you can say that we have put oil over there so here the chemical energy of the oil is converted but uh, to see it properly in the case of a generator inside the generator a magnet rotates okay so uh, in that case we can say that here the mechanical energy converts into electrical energy for case of generator coming to the next one that is it is simply a windmill i have shown you i am just i just want to make you remember that whenever we have read uh, the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy there i have told now in the last point that kinetic energy can be converted to any other form of energy but potential energy can be converted into kinetic energy that example i have shown but how kinetic energy can be converted into any other form you see whenever the air goes or air passes so this one rotates this blades are rotated the wind mills are rotated so using the motion of the wind mill we can get the electrical energy so here the kinetic energy of the air converts into the electrical energy so as the kinetic energy is the mechanical energy so we can say that in wind mill the mechanical energy converts into electrical energy not only that in the last diagram i have shown you a water dam so in water dam also the mechanical energy so basically mechanical energy means the kinetic energy of the water rotates the turbine and using that rotation we can get the kinetic energy i can get the electrical energy i'm sorry so here also the mechanical energy of the water converts into electrical energy so first for generator mechanical energy to electrical for windmill mechanical energy to electrical and for water dam also where the hydroelectricity is produced there also mechanical energy converts into electrical energy okay let's go to the next one transformation from heat energy to other forms of energy so heat energy using the heat energy we can do many thing so first of all whenever we have read about heat energy in the previous part i have shown you if you just seal the kettle and put the lid over here and whenever the vapor pressure is increased inside it then the lid is uplifted in case of kettle so here when the lid is uplifted we can say the heat energy converts into mechanical energy because the lid comes into motion and this phenomena is shown in the next first image that is the steam engine so in the steam engine the heat energy converts into mechanical energy that means due to the heat energy the train comes into motion so in motion means it is mechanical energy so here the heat energy converts into mechanical energy clear so this uh, this is the transformation of heat energy to other forms of energy last transformation we have to discuss that is sound energy to other form of energy so here i have shown you only one image that is a electrical microphone so in the microphone when someone talks that sound energy converts into electrical energy and that can be amplified later and then we have seen previously that electrical energy converts into sound energy again by the help of loudspeaker or speaker so whenever we are talking about the microphone in the case of microphone the sound energy converts into 
electrical energy so that is the last transformation where we have wherever we have shown the transformation from sound energy to other forms of energy coming to the last thing of today dissipation of energy so it is a very vital thing which ever we have to learn what is dissipation of energy so in the previous part we have learned the conversion or the transformation of energy from one form of energy to another form but whenever the transformation is occurred from one form of energy to another form some amount of energies are there which are lost in various form that lost energy is known as dissipation of energy if we see the definition you see it is written in transformation of energy when one form of energy is changed to another useful form of energy a part of energy gets converted with the non useful form of energy which is called dissipation or it is sometimes known as degradation of energy or loss of energy i have shown you two images so first image show our electrical bulb if the electrical bulb glows for a long time so in that case the electrical energy converts into light energy that is a very common conversion but here if you touch the bulb if you you will feel that the bulb is very hot so whenever the electrical energy is given to the bulb or not all the electrical energy converts into light energy some of the energy is lost in a form of heat energy okay so that is soon here also whenever i have told the car is moving so car is moving means here it is a automobile engine that means their chemical energy converts into mechanical energy but when the car moves some energy is lost to overcome the frictional force so here the blue colors are given okay so here some frictional force are there in the, uh, in the road so that energy is lost in a form of heat energy so you know whenever a car or a bike goes for a long time if you touch that wheel you will feel that it is hot due to the friction whenever it moves it is offering a force by the air that is a resistive force and there also some energy is lost so these are known as dissipation of energy that means the energies are lost at the time of transformation or conversion okay so that is my target to explain you the conversion of energy and to show you some of the examples where the conversion of energies are happening so it is your task to learn to go through the book in your book many of the conversions are given and this is a very important part of your topic that what energy is converted in an instrument to which form so that one you have to remember along with it whatever the examples we have shown you in the video hope you have shown it properly you have seen it properly if any problem then you can ask me till then hope you are all well and you should be well so thank you for today bye